All right, I'm going to do a brief overview of the track using uh, Gaia. And here I'm just kind of showing about how far south of Moab it was. I mapped it out and it looked like it was about 59 miles. And your turnoff is going to look like uh, just a dirt road. It is a county road that you can drive on. And here's a... Uh, Google Street View of it, but as you can see, um, it could easily be mistaken for somebody's personal ranch or private road. So it's handy to have that track preloaded so you can see your turn coming up and not miss it. With Gaia, you can overlay multiple maps. Uh, so I'm kind of showing here that you can have both the satellite map and a topo map kind of overlapping each other. Um, I'll kind of go over this mostly in the topo map. It's just easier to see with the red track against the topo map. The first thing you come to is labeled some steps. Um, we couldn't find what it was talking about, um, so I'm not sure what exactly that is. This right here is the large deer that you can, it's a petroglyph that's uh, carved into the side of the cliff face. Um, you do have to kind of walk up to it. It's perfect. Um, and uh, it's kind of about in this area is where I found it in. Next thing you come to is um, a really good example of the uh, cliff homes uh, Native Americans built uh, along here. Uh, there's a couple of them, so kind of look around, but they're kind of built on the side of the cliff face right about in this area. They do have it blocked off with some fence logs. And I found another grouping of them kind of over in that area and discovered that they had some other uh, petroglyphs kind of blocked off over there. Um, I think the blocking is mostly for cattle, uh, and, but people too, because there is a bit of vandalism. Next thing you come to is the granary. And this is just where they would store their grain. Uh, it is on uh, off of the main dirt road on a little bit of a dirt road. We then get to the Kiva, which is a recreation by the BLM, and you can walk around on the site. There is a fence, and this that goes around it, again, for the cattle, because in this top corner, right-hand corner of it, there's clearly an opening that a person can pass through but not cattle so you can walk around uh, we did not climb down inside of it but it looked like a smaller person might be able to do such these next two waypoints are more cliff dwellings um, they are on the other side of the creek that you can go look at uh, that th third point uh, I couldn't really find those are also not really close to not dead on to where the cliff dwellings are but rather in the approximate area so kind of when you get in that area just start looking for them and then you'll find them and 
that's about it. This is uh, the last spot for some petroglyphs and they're fantastic. You have to find this. Uh, there is a bit of graffiti that's along here, which is really unfortunate that there's such people out there given how old these are. But uh, there, there's a whole bunch of them right along that cliff face and you can kind of walk up to it and check them out. Just don't touch. And that's pretty much it. It's a nice kind of drive down to about where you pick up the pavement, right about in that area is pavement. And then that takes you back on out to the highway and you can head north to Moab from there. That's the end.